Hello, welcome back to another Brickmania review video. Today we're going to be looking at the U.S. Army Ranger Grenadier. This is another continuation of the Brickmania Black Hawk Down series I've been doing on this channel, and the second of three Mogadishu Ranger CMFs they have released. If you've seen my Army Ranger V3 review, you'll notice this figure is pretty similar. A few notable differences are the face, and the grenade vest that covers the body armor vest. The grenade vest is well detailed, with a lot of grenade pouches that really set this figure apart from the others. Going down, there are similar pouch prints to the previous Ranger figure, as well as the same knee pads that are present on all the Black Hawk Down figures in this line. The side of the figure has the same American flag patch on the arm, and we can see a continuation of a couple extra grenade pouches. Below those is a standard ammo pouch print, and of course the knee pad straps continue around the side of the leg. The other side again has some camo printing on the arm, as well as a couple more grenade pouches with the same standard ammo pouch just below those. The leg printing is also mirrored. The back of the figure is also very different with the grenade vest almost completely covering the body armor vest except for a few openings on the side in the middle. This is honestly a detail I didn't even notice until I started filming this review. The rest of the figure is pretty much the same. Printing on the back of the arms, canteens, and a big pouch at the bottom of the torso and of course the same leg prints. This figure is equipped with the Perfect Caliber Brick Arms M16 with the M203 grenade launcher attached. As you can see, Brickmania has printed a ton of camo detailing on this weapon. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but in the movie at least, none of the M16s were decked out in camo. That's not to say that in the actual event they weren't colored, but I'm sure not a ton of them were. I may be wrong, but this is an instance where I wish they would have toned down the detailing. If I'm being honest, I would have much rather preferred a standard black and gunmetal gray M16, with maybe a few printed details like the one the standard Ranger figure was given. In this instance, I feel they went a little overboard with the detailing, and when you put this figure next to the other Ranger figures, it almost seems like it's from a different line because of how much the weapon stands out. Alright, and that pretty much wraps it up. Overall, I think this figure is incredible and fits really well with the Black Hawk Down theme. The weapon, I think, has just a little too much detail and feels almost out of place when compared to the rest of the figures. I think they should have kept it uniform with the weapons and maybe released this version of the M16 separately, which would allow us to get multiple figures and customize them to our liking. But maybe I'm just nitpicking, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and if you've made it this far, please hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in the next video.